A couple of days ago, someone I had just become acquainted with said the following words to me. Your truth hurts and your lies hurt. I don't know which one hurts the most, but I don't see us progressing as friends. I was disappointed with myself. I felt I'd betrayed somebody. So I began to ponder and reflect upon these words. And I realized that I have lived all my life being a liar. And many a time we might exist for a lifetime and don't even realize how much of a liar we are. Yes, because we're all imperfect beings, even though some people don't acknowledge that fact. Today, there's an increase in divorce, broken families, broken friendships, broken relationships, lots of confused individuals. You see, some people at their job site or at their ministry, there's something else. And while they are behind closed doors or behind their cell phones or their computers or their laptops, there are another thing. Simply because they don't want people to know who they truly are. So they chose to live a lie. And now here is the problem. When you start telling a lie, you want to be consistent. So you have to struggle to develop more lies that you're going to tell people. Else you will contradict yourself. Things you don't want to contradict yourself, lies build upon lies. And guess what? You modify yourself. You modify your essence. Instead of being defined as I am Frank, I am Mary, I am Eve, I am blank. You become I am a liar. So there comes a point in your life where you want to give up this new way of life. This life that you have developed and it has become part and parcel of you. You no longer want to be a liar. So you say, enough with this. I want to tell the truth. Even if you don't come to this point, your lies just catch up with you. Because you can't play the game anymore. You're sort of caught in a dilemma. And you need to speak the truth. But now here is the problem. You start asking yourself, how will I start? You're afraid that people are going to judge you. People are going to say... You have been a liar all along, so they wouldn't even believe anything you ever said. Yes, those are the consequences of telling lies. But I show you that even if you tell the truth, the person will be disappointed. Even if he or she doesn't want to be your friend again, or doesn't want to treat you as a brother or as a sister, that person will forever appreciate that you were courageous enough to come out and speak the truth. Now, imagine that if everyone in the world was to tell a lie, that would include people telling a lie to you. I imagine you wouldn't expect such a world to exist. Therefore, as humans, we have the right to know the truth when we ask someone some information. If you do not know the truth, it is better to remain silent than to say something you're not sure of. Because when the truth finally comes to the surface, you will be disappointed. You would have made yourself a liar. Imagine that if every single soul on earth was to speak the truth, even just for one day, think of how lovely the planet will be. So I indulge you all today to go to that brother, to that sister, to that friend, to that parent, to that child that you have been lying and tell them, I am sorry, I told you a lie. No matter the outcome, I know it will be difficult, but trust me, you will be happy with the outcome.